students today in this video presentation i have come up with a very nice question for class 10 cbse board exam appearing students so let's uh, read this question first along a road there is a road this is one this is a road and there are certain number of stones which has been kept on the road and there are actually odd number of stones so what number of stones are kept on the road that has got to be found out and the condition is that all those stones have been kept at certain equal distances like each dist each stone is having at certain distance say at 10 meters from each other so if they are having on the road odd number of stones so on this particular side there will be even number of stones and on this side there will be another even number of stones so at the middle there will be one stone here even number of stones here even number of stones so even even again even and this including this becomes odd number of students uh, odd number of stones now just taking an example of keeping only case of say i'm just giving you a case of what would happen if there were only five stones if there are only five stones so the very first stone is this sorry here is the first stone here is the second one third fourth and fifth i'm explaining you practically taking example of five stones because five is an odd number now according to the question the suppose these all distances are of x meters they are all kept at a distance of about x meters okay now if the person started picking the stone from this end from position a it will move from here and start traveling in this direction in this direction and it reaches here and here it will have to keep the stone so in this way how much distance it has covered x plus x 2x a the stone which was kept at a position has covered how much distance x another x again it will come back to pick up the stone which is at c by covering x distance and again going back and just keeping the stone over here so so coming to this position from here and then again coming back makes a total distance of x plus x that is 2x in this way on this left hand side it has covered 4x distance now if i just look into on this side from here the person has to travel like this and pick the stone which is kept at position e by covering a distance of x plus x 2x and again coming back and just filling it over here so it has how much distance covered 2x going 2x and coming 2x makes a total of 4x plus again it has come back again it will start traveling to this deep point picking the stone and taking it back and keeping it over here so going x again coming back x how much x plus x 2x so in this way on the right side it has covered 6x and here it has covered 4x distance it means one patch of distance from the extreme end point will be lesser on one side so if i replace this 10 with x with 10 suppose this was of 10 meters this was of 10 meters this was of 10 meters this was of 10 meter so likewise how much distance it has covered it has covered 40 meters and the same way it has covered how much 60 meters it means in this case it has covered 20 meters less so how that 20 meter less had come number of patches that is 2 multiplied by equidistant which is how much 10 so in this way it is having a negative 20 meters distance now i will show you the taking into consideration of the original pattern of the question okay now we are just moving to this uh, part of the question just after explaining you how things will happen that if the journey of collecting the stone has started from this a end so it is traveling only one 
way distance but on the another side it it has to cover both way so on 50% this end the end from where collecting the stone has started from point a it will travel only this much distance lesser so all these distances are at a distance of 10 meters interval of 10 meters so if the stone was collected from end a it has traveled the first stone the first stone has traveled how much of distance let's see if the intervals so there are n number of stones on this side and there are another n also these are all n number of stones because they are having in total odd number of stones so here also there are odd number of stones so how will that odd happen n stones n stone and the middle one is one stone so in all how much how many stones have are there 2n plus one stones because it says in the question that there are odd number of stones now the first stone has been picked from here it has traveled only one distance one way distance so this distance is how much 10 multiplied by n number so because there are n number of gaps n stones means n number of gaps and each gap is of 10 meters so how much distance it has covered 10 n second stone has covered how much of the distance it will be how much it has to come back from here it will travel like this and again coming back so there is minus 1 so it is how much 10 into n minus 1 because this time the gaps were how much n minus 1 gaps but it has to travel both way it has to travel from the here covering n minus 1 again coming back n minus 1 so how many n minus 1 into 2 so this is the total distance which is just covered by the second stone similarly as you go for third stone distance to calculate it will be 10 into n minus 2 into 2 if we go for the fourth stone it will cover a distance of 10 into n minus 3 into 2 so in this way it has traveled the total distance of how much 10 n plus 10 into n minus 1 into 2 plus 10 into n minus 2 into 3 and so on it will go till 10 into 2 so in this way how much distance it has covered throughout you can see 10 is common among all of them so n plus n minus 1 into 2 plus n minus 2 into sorry here it should be 2 yeah 2 and so on it goes till so on it goes till 2 so throughout you can see that 10 into n plus here how many terms are there there are not n number of terms had I included this it would have n number of terms but here there are how many terms n minus 1 terms so the sum of you know you must know this that what is uh, sum of n natural numbers it is n into n plus 1 upon 2 so here how many terms are there n minus 1 terms. so the n is how much over here n minus 1 into n plus 1 n minus 1 plus 1 whole divided by 2 and this entirely having two common it could have been kept aside like this so in this way what you got 2 and 2 getting cancelled so your answer is something like this n plus how much it is n minus 1 into n because this one and this one also got cancelled so you are left over with this result saying that it is 10 into n plus how much it is n minus 1 it is simply as n minus 1 into n which is n plus n square minus n so it is 10 into n square sorry I'll have to show you couldn't be seen properly so showing this slide a little this way it is so here what this result tells us this result tells us that 
this patch of distance was tan n square so this patch of distance and this patch of distance on the left hand side and right hand side will have a difference of how much one way distance was less only the first one when it was picked up from there it never came back so how much among both the distances so here I could just skip it like this actual distance actual distance was how much actual distance was 10 in square into 2 that covers left as well as right but between the left and the right here there was 10 in distance lesser so it means that it has covered more 10 in distance this side has covered a 10 in meter larger so this is the actual distance which is being covered by each stone so now 10 in square plus 10 in square sorry into 2 means it gives me 20 n square plus 10 n that must be equal to how much distance it was given in the question saying that it has covered a distance of uh, 3 how much it was uh, the total distance covered by 3 kilometer it says that it has traveled a distance of 3 kilometer means it is equals to 3000 meter so dividing all the sides with 10 would I get 2 n square plus n minus 300 equal to 0 so splitting middle term it should be minus 24 and 25 I'll show this calculation with lesser space yeah I can show you over here so how will this happen see so this calculation is shifted over here it is a 2n square minus 24n plus 25n minus 300 equal to 0 so it is something like 2n keeping common n minus 12 and here I can keep 25 common n minus 12 so the result is n minus 12 into 2n plus 25 equal to 0 so n is equals to either 12 or it could be n equal to minus 25 by 2 this result is not possible because number of stones cannot be negative in that in fractions so your answer is n minus 12 is the correct one this is your complete solution of this question